Hello, TV land. Trying to piss off some people. Mm, 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 mm. For those who live in the United States and don't know how it works, sometimes the communication system, the whole enchilada about news, likes to pick up on certain news once in a while to get people entertained, even though the news is pretty sad. For instance, remember, remember a while ago, there was the Petito case, one of the most weird things that can possibly wait. You know what I mean, bro? And it was like, what? Are you, are you kidding me? What's going on? This is weird. You know what I mean? And people, actually, most of the people were so gullible, they believe this thing. Not that it didn't happen. Yes, it did happen. But it happened in a, such a way that like, what? Really? I don't watch the news. But most of the, this time, my wife was watching it some time that, you know, she kept telling me and telling me and telling me and telling me and telling me. So I started watching it too. Okay. One of the things, why do I call it a set up news? Because they set it up to happen that way. I mean, the people in this, in this, in, in this, uh, this event, they actually die. But what I call it a set up news, because the way it was manipulated, you know what I mean? For instance, this is not the first time it happened. I'm going to go to this case first, and then I'll go to this case that, I, that happened years ago. Watch this. Things that people don't pay attention. This young lady is a nut case or a basket case. She is out of there. You know what I mean? Now, this woman is going out with some guy. Is the fiancé. How could somebody be a fiancé if they're living in their guy's parents' house? So, there are two losers, right? She's a loser, he's a loser. And they're living in the guy's parents' house. What? Yeah. No, they're not Latinos. They're not black. No. <laughs> they're white. Go figure. And this is happening. So I tell you what happened. She's on blah, blah, blah. The cop actually speak to her like for an hour. An hour. Let me tell you. If that would be a black woman or Hispanic, there'd be no hour talking. Let me tell you. Capish? Okay, here we go. Watch this. I gotta put this. I don't wanna get along. Watch this. She's nyeh, 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 my boyfriend, my boyfriend, and the boyfriend comes out like nothing happens. The cop does nothing. You know, just like no prevention, nothing, nothing. They go back. The story is that they've been traveling the United States, right? They went to Utah, this, for four months. Okay, where did they get the money? She's like 33 and the guy's 26. They live in their parents' house. Eh? In American standard, here in the United States, like in Latin America, that's normal. For kids living in, uh, in the parents' house, that's normal. But here in the United States, that's like, loser! So they're driving nicely, they have, they have plenty of money. This is the idiot. Hey, there you go. There you go. And, 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 they're, and they're fiance. Okay, the thing is that she ended up, she disappeared. The guy goes home to his parents and like nothing happened. And the, girl, the, the girl's parents are like, okay, okay, what's going on here? And that's getting prolonged. The guy doesn't even get, you know, like, like the police didn't get him. Like, okay, listen, your girlfriend is missing. We're going to keep you in jail until we find her or something like that. No, the lawyer used a word called he is a man of interest or something like that. A, a person of interest. <laughs> Freaking lawyers. Let me tell you, this guy's going to be in hell, these lawyers, in hell. And guess what? Then he disappears. Yeah, he disappears. You know, he went hiking with the parents. After what happened, the girl got missing. She is missing. Get it? She's missing. Even though she was hanging around with this loser. Hello? What? Yeah. She disappeared. Meanwhile, she's hanging around with the fiancé. One more time. He's hanging around with this loser over here. He comes back home without her. And she doesn't want to talk. He doesn't talk. Then suddenly, pff, he disappears. He disappears. Yeah. 
Just like that. And then suddenly, they found the girl dead. Strang strangulated or something. Like, and it goes along, you go like, there's something fishing about this. Something fishing. Oh, it gets better. After he disappears, for some weird, strange reason, they found, weeks later, his remains. Not his body. His remains. What? 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 What do you mean his remains? Well, somehow, somewhere over the rainbow, he's dead now, and they barely recognize him, his body. They recognize him because it's his danger. I have heard weird news, but this one is simply manipulated. It's like they made it up. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. Like they made it up. First of all, the police officer spent one hour talking to them. They let him go. The girl stays, I don't know where. The guy's coming back without no info. I mean, if, if, if the girls were Latina and the parents were Latino, straightforward, they will be freaking banging on the freaking door. That person say, where's my, hell's my daughter? But no, this one, no. It's like, eh, well, okay. Me, 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 me. And they're looking for the guy. And the guy used a credit card. That's how they're tracking down. But now the guy is, they found his, rem not his body, his remains. Really? You remember I told you this is not the first time? All right, let me show you. In 1994, this young boy, Elian Gonzalez, he was found in a floater by himself. He said that he came with his mom, but his mom died on the way from Cuba to the United States. Let me warn you. CNN and Fox News never gave a shit about what was going on. They just gave you the, you know, the floating device news, you know, just. But the system went and said, hey, let's make a big deal out of this one. And they did. Once this boy was rescued, oh my God, he became a political status business going on. Oh, here's the kicker. You know how many kids have died crossing, uh, crossing from Cuba to here? How many grandmas has been thrown out of the boat because they died on the way? How many moms? How many fathers? How many uncles? A lot. And not once in a while, all the time. But guess what? They pick on this guy. They pick on this little boy. Yeah, they did. Isn't that cute? And it was a big news. The family in Miami, they, they want to keep him. But the government got involved and Castro wanted back. And I'm not going to show you more because I want you to go look at his name and put the uh, Elian Gonzalez case. And you will see the whole video on YouTube. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to tell you that they did exactly the same thing with this little boy. Now he's a grown up man in Cuba, still hungry because he went back. So here's the thing. They took this case and make it a big deal. Like that's, that wasn't happening. That was happening. But they took one case from all of them. They took this one and make it a political issue. All the way for months. For months. It was a big deal until Clinton said, no, send the boy back. And they sent him back. And that's it. That is what I call a setup news. It will happen again. I don't think, I think I do it. They do it for distraction. To keep you busy because they know you're stupid and they know you go and follow him to see what happened next like i saw opera like a telemundo like a univision oh let me pronounce that in, in english univision like univision on telemundo you know what i mean this is not new don't be stupid don't get entertained for whatever reason they're doing it shut it up this is mendes focus I hope I piss you off, and if I didn't, grab a ticket and get a freaking line.